how do you know if your jet surf board is cooling properly? Hi, I'm Rui from Jet Surf and I'm going to show you how you know if your board is being cooled properly. Jet Surf board has an engine with a cooling system. All boards, unless they're fitted with a catalytic converter, have what's called a telltale on the cooling system. This means water goes round the engine and gets sprayed out the side to let you know that the engine is being cooled properly. If you're riding in the water and you see this does not have any water coming out of it and you don't have a catalytic converter in your board, you know you need to get back to shore as quick as you can to make sure you don't make the engine too hot and check the cooling lines to make sure there's no bits of wood or weed or anything in the cooling system. If you have a catalytic converter fitted in your board, which is the Adventure DFI, Adventure DFI Plus or Cruiser board, the ones fitted with catalytic converters will be dependent on where you are in the world and the current market at that place. So if you have a catalytic converter fitted in your board, you won't have this telltale water outlet coming out to show you that the cooling system is working. The cooling system will be working anyway, but it puts it to a different place at the back of the board where the cooling system line comes out of where the turbine exits from. How you recognise if your board has a catalytic converter or not. This is a race board, so this has a slightly larger exhaust uh, with the black heat surround on it for sound deadening, uh, two springs and a small black fitting to the exhaust outlet. If your board has a catalytic converter, you will notice a couple of things that the exhaust is slightly smaller diameter, still black, but you'll see a stainless ring that defines whether it's got a catalytic converter in it. Also, the cooling line on the cylinder head may be in a different position to that of the race. And that is how you can tell if your board is cooling properly.